Hello everybody. Welcome to Fame World Educational Hub. Myself, Ashura Saxena and in this Python programming playlist, I am going to work with the Python with MySQL database connectivity. I have already uploaded three videos related to the Python database connectivity till now. I have told that how you can create the connectivity, how you can install the softwares like PyCharm, Python and MySQL into your system. I have also told that how you can install the Python MySQL connector into your system. We have already done one program in this playlist and I'm just going to start with another program. So if you have not watched the previous videos, please watch it and come back to this one to understand the concepts in a deeper way. In this video, I am going to tell that how you can create the database. So firstly, to check that you have to come towards the MySQL command line client. I'm opening it. And uh, here we will be just checking that what are the different databases which are already present here. I'm pressing enter and I'm just typing here show databases. Show database, show databases, semicolon and press enter. So you can see these are the databases which are already present here. DB1, MySQL, test and information schema. So this much is already present. I'm minimizing it right now. And now with the help of this Python code, we will be creating a new database into our MySQL. So here I'm importing mysql.connector then my db I'm taking a variable equals to mysql.connector.connect and here host localhost then user root then password I'm not having any so I'm just keeping it empty. Okay. After this, cursor is used to run any query or something into the MySQL. So cursor I am calling here. Okay, CUR is just a variable and cursor I am using. So cursor dot execute. So executing of the execution of the queries are actually taken care with the help of the MySQL cursor. So here I am taking execute and here I am giving the query create database let's say db2 i have taken the name here you can take any now run this particular file but it will be not giving any output here make sure that it is not giving any output here the process finished with the exit code 0 should be only present now this was the previous output which i have shown you related to the database or the mysql and now i am again running this show databases so here you can see now Another database that is the DB2 has also been created, which we have created right away in this particular uh, like program, in the program which we have done. So you can see DB2 database is present and previously it was not present. So our program is working efficiently and now successfully we have created a database. So I hope you enjoyed this video, like the video and if you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe it and see you in the next video because there are going to be all the like database connectivity things present in this playlist. So stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video.